Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Shrini here, and this is my tutorial session three in this testing series. And what I plan to do is that in this particular session, uh, I'll be covering the test in G.XML specifically, and also uh, as a continuation to this particular part. If in case it doesn't get covered into this particular session, I'll be also covering interview questions together, so that as we learn a particular topic, we also should know what are the possible interview questions which could be asked. And be prepared for the same. So that is the idea which I have gone ahead with. So I'll be explaining the tutorial at the same time. I will also be letting you all know what are the questions which will be asked by the interviewer. So if you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing to it as you'll be getting such a lot of the important information and videos. So let's get started with today's topic. So we had seen in a previous session the introduction to test ng and then test ng annotations and we had just looked at the glimpse of the test ng.xml and how the file looks like the test ng test file we had created with lot of annotations actually as seen here right so we had seen these all different annotations and we are going to look at these in detail but today's topic is going to be on test ng.xml we are going to focus on this entire part and just please do watch this video till the end because here you will be getting a lot of in useful information which is not just from the testng.xml perspective but overall from a selenium interview perspective or from a testng interview question which will be possibly asked by the interviewer there are a lot of important information which you should not miss out because testng.xml is such an important concept in testng that you cannot miss out on anything in it so just do watch it till the end so let's do get started now. So this is the sample testng.xml file which I had already created last time. But just to ensure that you know we do create everything from the scratch and show you all what all important things are there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this file and create a new one and just show it from the scratch and also show what all sequence of tags are to be formed when you're creating your own testng.xml. So I'll just create a new one. I'll just copy and paste it here. So we are going to name this as test ng sanity. Okay, I'm just giving my own name. Yeah, so let me open this one. So we are just going to uh, take out all of this. You don't need all of this for now. I'm just going to explain you all the concepts one by one. So just be at a, just pay attention to this entire part. So I'll go slowly. So the first thing which we want to we should be able to understand when we are learning test ng is what is test ng all about, right? And what is its usage and why is that in Selenium in different frameworks when we create? Why is a test ng is used more often? So that already I have created a video on the overview and the advantages you can look at that. But just to go one step further, test ng with test ng, if you want to execute, let's say, multiple test cases which are like a huge in number or like a collection of test cases, right? So we need some kind of like a suit, right? We are creating our own test suit here. So this test ng.xml basically gives us the flexibility to create our own test suit and execute those multiple number of test cases together or execute let's say just a few chunk of test cases together that is what test ng.xml gives us a flexibility right and how does it do that with its features right so those features is what we are going to look at in this particular tutorial session so let's just understand the structure right so it always starts from a xml tag because it's a .xml file and we are using a dot type Talk type and this is basically given by testng.org right now this is the hierarchy we will be first always we'll be having so i'll be putting comments here this is how you put comments in your dot xml file you have to start using this particular pattern at least these two dashes two hyphens and then close it out with this way and whatever you mention in between is going to be like a comment so it's going to be started with the suit tag okay, this is the sequence which i'm going with a okay, suit and I'm going to use this arrow symbol to represent the hierarchy. Then you will have test. Then you will have classes, right? 
and then you will have class within that classes you're going to have class so we are going to focus on the important part so i'm going to take out this one and just i want to highlight the key things which is to be understood here the suit is first then comes a test then comes a class and within the class right we are having methods so this is the sequence we should be remembering always right so this is what we should be understanding whenever any interviewer asks us right what is before suit before test before method or before class we should be able to understand what is the sequence which will be executed first this is the always the sequence which will be executed first this is the important interview question guys this is the sequence in which your entire test is going to be executed right now let's come one step further right so within this test right within this test i'm going to include one more thing that is called groups so this particular sequence you have to remember now there is no before group or after group as such but you have to understand groups does play a important role in deciding which set of test cases to execute right or which ones not to execute so we are going to look at those attributes and how do we configure that but you have to understand this is how the sequence of the entire test in jira text 7 goes by now let's come into the definition part so this is the suit level i have given a name as suit test name equal to test 1 right and within this test i can have groups this is what i was talking about groups so we are going to look at what are groups here and within test we can have classes so this is the hierarchy which you have to understand right now classes can have let's say i'm talking about a particular class so i can have the opening and the closing class part and i can just mention the name right so this is how we are going to define a class within classes so we have to give a attribute called name now this name means what is the location of your class so we are basically executing this particular test case so this is going to be your test case so let's understand this entire terminology here right so this is going to be your test case okay i'll explain the meaning of test case and everything just i'll put the meaning besides all of the tags here this is a suit let's call it as a test suit fine this is a test suit then we are having a next as a test case and this as a definition talks by we are knowing it's a class right and this is a group so we have already looked at the sequence part of it in our this comment part right so these are groups now let's come to class so we have to give the name of the class not just the name we have to give also the path which particular path this particular class belongs to. now this is not the actual location of the file it's basically the packaging structure so let's say we want to execute test ng test.java which is a part of this project right it's a part of this pkg package so we have to just mention pkg dot test ng test that's it if it is a part of not any part of any package if it's a part of default package then you just have to mention the just the name of the class no need to mention any prefix before it right i hope this is clear okay now i have in purposely made a opening and a closing class part i could have directly said okay this particular tag ends here this is also fine and acceptable but the reason i have done this is that i have to mention that what all methods i want to execute so that part i'm also going to stress out here in this particular session what method should i should i execute right so now if you look at this test ng test.java what are called as methods so we are going to look at the another concept in this test ng.xml file that is methods so you have to understand each and every concept here if you have to be prepared to go for the interview this is basically a method and precisely called as test method now there is a difference between test method and test case test cases are a collection of all the test methods which are there of all the classes which are a part of your test so as of now i have only one class mentioned within my classes tag right and within that classes tag for that class there are many methods right which may be a part of it so test case is a collection of different test methods right so that is why 
when we had spoken about the last session, I had told you all that there is one of the important interview question that what is the difference between before test, uh, before method and before test annotations, right? So before method means before this particular test method, something will be executed. And before test means before this particular entire collection starts of multiple test methods, before this entire thing starts, some particular method is going to be executed. So that we are going to again see when we come back to the testng.xml part. Testng this particular file. When we again come to this, we will again review that. So let's focus on this here. So let's say now, if I go back to testng test, right? I have multiple at the rate test annotations, which are called as test methods, right? These are nothing but test methods. So if I want to include or run a particular method, then I have to include that. So I have to do this way, include name equal to, I have to give the name, right? If you don't want to just use any closing tag, that's all fine. Just have to mention this way. And if you want to include multiple method as a part of your execution, then you have to mention two times. So let's say I'm going to invoke or use both of these methods in my file. So let's mention both test case one and test case two. If I wish to, you know, include everything, no need to mention anything specifically, then I can simply skip this part. Again, I'll repeat it. If I don't want to specifically mention what has to be run and what has not to be run, then basically it means we want to run everything, right? So we need not do this kind of part, right? So we need not do this kind of part where we tell, okay, uh, that this you run, this you don't run. If I want to run everything, I simply will not even include this methods tag because whatever is in the class, everything is going to run. I hope that is clear. If you want to run everything, just don't mention the methods tag. If you want to run a specific method only, then you have to mention this include tag. So let's say I am including only one particular method for now, which is your include name equal to test case one. So that would mean when I run this particular test case, right? Only this particular test ng test would be run. So let's run this particular one and let's verify that. So let's run this particular program. I'm just clicking on right click, doing run as test ng suit. So this is a new test ng suit which we have created as a part of the same project. So let's run it as test ng suit. Yeah, so here is the output, right? So it has just executed in the order in which it has to do. So if you look at the hierarchy again, so first comes the test. We have the before test because we have mentioned if you look at the test ng test right i'm going to show you the code what all annotations we have mentioned we have mentioned before method at the rate test after method before test after test before class after class so we have not mentioned specifically two more annotations let's include that as well and then you will be having a complete idea so let's say before suit and let's say after suit So we will have to just do this part and run it. Just import these two annotations. That's all, right? So now let's run it again. Yeah, so here we go. This is the execution flow for your entire test. If you look at this, before suit has got run first, then before test, then before class, then before method. Right? Then you have after method, then after class, after test, and just it's just even showing after suit as well. So it's showing the entire sequence. So this is what I was talking about, the sequence of your test in g.xml. First comes your suit, then test, then there is no before or after group, so this is just for now. You can ignore this part. Then comes the class, and then comes method. So this is the entire sequence you have to follow. And then comes the actual method. So before method, after that we come to the actual at the rate test method, and then we have the after method, 
after class, after test, and after suit to complete. So we have just run one test case here. So if you notice here, it's just run one test case because we have included only test case one. If you wish to execute even test case two, we just have to remove this part and run it again. So let's do that. So here we go. So I'll show you in console first that we have entire flow of execution logged here in the console and it shows test run two failures are zero, skips are zero. And if you look at this results of running suit, it's going to show you good formatting kind of style for test ng. It shows how many seconds it took for both the test cases which belong to this test together. These are the collection of test cases I was talking about, right? This is test one, collection of two test cases here. And these two test case methods actually, these are two test case methods and this is the test case and that test case belongs to a suit. So suit is a collection of multiple test cases and a test case can actually have multiple test methods. So that is the first part which I wanted to cover as a part of testng.xml. So I hope this particular session was very useful to you all. I will be covering much more in depth in my future sessions. So do watch my channel and subscribe to it if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you so much. Do share with your friends as well. Thank you.